Okay, race 31, the final race here from Ferry House is the Crisp Norris Maiden Chase over three miles. A three mile novice. So number one is Kingdom of Our Lord, Joshua Southern. Two, Thunder, Derek Hinton. Four, three, Villa de la Plata, Paul Rhodes. Four, Dirk Cass, Thunder Spark. Five, the Cone, David Robertson. And six, Warren for Stu Gray. So only six of them. At least five of them get round. They'll all get money. And they're straight into the first. And it was Dirk Cass that led us over that, the Gray. For Thunder Spark. And on the inside in the pink silks is Thunder. And then we've got Villa de la Plata. Although Kingdom of the Lord nosing through to take third. And out wide is the Cone. And Warren just at the rear as they go into the second, which is a ditch. Nobody be really wanting to take this along. Although Thunder for Del Hinton uh, now reluctantly leads from Durkast in second. And they've already got a couple of lengths on Villa de la Plata. And then Kingdom of our Lord, the Cone and Warren. So they go to the third. Everybody makes that bit of a slow jump by Villa de la Plata, but uh, plenty of plenty of time. Two and a half miles, another 15 fences. So anything can happen with these six. So I still thunder, leading them. He's got a length and a half advantage over Durkast. And they've got a five length advantage over Villa de la Plata. And then being followed through by the Cone, Warren, and Kingdom of Our Lord. And they're through four of the 18. And just the six of them here with the rain coming down. Go to the fifth. The leaders jumped it well, as did the remainder. And we go around this uh, turn now. Durkas being uh, still restrained a little bit. And with Thunder allowing to lead, but again against the fence, the two of them. And they've got a 8 9 a length advantage over the remainder, which are Villa de la Plata and Warren. Kingdom of Our Lord against the fence and the cone, but they all seem to be being held up towards the rear. They all get over that. Kingdom of Our Lord was a little bit slow. And we're through a third of the fences. As we approach the seventh, we're still two miles to travel. Warren has a good jump there by Thunder, but a poor jump there by Durkast. As he comes in front of the stands, didn't get over that. I think that's the last next time round. You want to negotiate that much better if he's going to win. As you go past the stands here at Ferry House. Reasonable crowd in the rain. Don't see many brollies. All braving it. And hills in the background. It's, it's Thunder that takes us off out with the final circuit to go. So it's Thunder. By a couple to Durkast. And then a couple being pushed along in the chasing. As we go over the 8th, Thunder was slow over that, Durkas took it fast and pulls alongside. So, 6 lengths then back to Warren, Kingdom of Our Lord, with the lower platter and the cone, they're all still on their feet here. This novice maiden chase over 3 miles, still one and a half to travel. Take the ninth. They're halfway through the fences, everybody's negotiated it well, and it's still Thunder from Durkas. These two have been on 1 and 2 for the last... Uh, nearly two miles and uh, although Kingdom of the Lords come out of the chasing pack now to try and shorten the lead of the two leaders it's probably down to just about four lengths now and then Kingdom of Allah will warren Villa de la Plata and the Cone all together and we're losing one here Kingdom of Our Lords being pulled up not sure what was wrong with that there so unlucky Josh into the 11th everybody's over that and the leaders lead has been now shortened down to just a couple of lengths. So we've got Durkast and Thunder leading. And then just a couple of lengths back to Villa de la Plata. Further length to Warren. And then the Cone. The Cone was a little bit slow over that one, as was Villa de la Plata. And allowed Warren to move into third. So up front is still Thunder and Durkast with a mile left to travel. These two have led since the beginning. Flip-flop for the lead. They're over the ditch, the 13th. Everybody's over it well. Warren was a little bit slow. They're all still in this. We've only got probably five, six lengths between first and last of the five. But it's still Thunder and Durkast still leading us. Although here comes Villa de la Plata, Warren and the Cone getting ready to challenge. They go over the 14th. Poor jumps by the leaders has allowed Villa de la Plata to 
jump up the, the rear of Thunder and got himself a bit blocked in. Thunder starts to head for home now. The one starting to run on well here is the Cone, but also got nowhere to go. How only five of them have managed to get themselves blocked in, I don't know. So it's the Thunder that still leads, just by a length of Villa de la Plata as they take the home turn. Then we've got the Cone. Well, Warren's been under a bit of pressure now, as is Dirk, as did Led, and now into the last. They take the 15th. There's three left to jump, and Thunder leads still, but being well pushed along by his jockey now. Villa de la Plata starts to make the challenge and pulls alongside. They've got a couple of lengths on the Cone, the Warren and Durkast. So it's Thunder that leads him into the 16th. He's over it well. A little bit slow from all of them, but it's Thunder that still leads. Villa de la Plata now moving up ominously on his outside as they take the home turn and line up for the judge. So it's Thunder. Two fences to go. Villa de la Plata starts to make his move and starts to pull a half a length ahead now. The rest, I'm not sure, are going to get into this. Durkast has moved back into third. The Cone and Warren under a lot of pressure and being pushed along, but it's Villa de la Plata that starts to pull away as they approach the 17th. Gets over it well, as does the remainder, but it's Villa de la Plata still leads by three to four. Thunder's going nowhere now. Durkast, they're no, not really getting into this. Warren plugging on in the cone. He takes the last Villa de la Plata with a furlong left to run. He's got a seven length advantage over the chasing pack, which is being led by Warren and Durkast. The cone on the outside and Thunder, they're all going to fight out for second in the minor places. But Villa de la Plata for Paul Rhodes takes the maiden novice crisp chase here at Ferry House quite comfortably in the end and gets another winner and obviously another winner for Villa de la Plata for Paul Rhodes well done second is Dirk Casser Thunderspark third was the cone for David Robertson fourth was Warren for Stu Gray fifth was Thunder for D Hinton sixth was Kingdom of Our Lord that got pulled up and over to Linkfield and Martin